This lesson looks at backing up Windows Server. Windows Server has a built-in backup utility. If I do add roles and features, select my server, go to features, because it's helping a server do its job, I'll actually see Windows Server Backup. So I'll do that installation. And this gives me a basic backup product that can back up the file system and even certain types of application, system state, for example, domain controllers to disk. I can also deploy agents such as the Azure Site Recovery to enable me to not only back up locally to disk, but also back up to an Azure Backup Vault. This gives me an offsite protection for my backup workloads. If I go to my tools, I now see Windows Server Backup. I can see I'm not currently registered with Microsoft Azure Backup. Because I have the agent installed, I could do that. Here, once I have the local backup selected, I can create a backup schedule. I can go through and select what I want to back up, a full server or a custom, which is certain files, folders, and I would add that to my list. Notice I can pick, is it particular Hyper-V machines? It understands the concept of Hyper-V and other workloads that could be on my system. Do I want just system state? This is very useful for domain controllers. Do I want to be able to do a bare metal recovery? Do I just need certain aspects of the file system? So I'm just backing up a certain virtual machine. When do I wish to perform the backup? What is my destination? Is it a dedicated hard drive just for backups? Is it a volume that can be used for other workloads as well, which is not generally recommended because it's going to have a massive hit on the performance of that disk. I can back out to a folder. I could select the disk. Now, because I selected an entire disk, it wants a complete disk for its backup. I don't have a whole disk. So instead, I'll select volume and I can just select any disk I have on my system. Confirm and I would hit finish. I can also do a one-time backup, and I can still use the settings from a scheduled backup if I had one available, or I can do different options. I can do recovery, and also the backup would let me integrate with Azure Backup. So it's using that Azure Recovery Service Agent, Mars. I would register with an Azure Backup Vault, and then I would have the option to actually back up to Azure. So I would select Register Server. Do I need a proxy server or not? I would now select my vault credentials that I would have downloaded from the quick start page of the Microsoft Azure Backup Vault. I'm selecting my vault credential, which I've just downloaded from the Azure portal. I can select some encryption that I want to use. So I'll just generate one. I can select the location to save that to and register. So now this Windows Backup is linked to my Azure Backup account. It's telling me, hey, there's an update to the agent. I'll get that as well. And I'll now be able to actually go ahead and back up straight to a recovery services vault. Now you can see I have the same types of options. I can do a scheduled backup. This time it's actually gonna go and do those backups to Azure. So the same options for what I want to back up. This time I'm focusing really on files and that will be protected off premises out into the cloud. From an enterprise perspective, we have things like Data Protection Manager. This uses an agent on the box. It initially backs up on disk, but then can also integrate with the cloud. Here, I'm actually connected to an Azure Backup Vault. It will also store it off premises. It understands different workloads like SQL Server, Hyper-V Virtual Machines, System State. So I have short-term retention on premises, but then I can have longer-term retention in the cloud. I have very granular restoration capabilities. I can restore a SQL database. I can restore a SharePoint item. I can restore files and folders. Here you can see my data protection is short term to disk. I select those goals. And if I selected, I want cloud protection as well. I'm saying I want to keep it for five days on-prem, but I could say online. I want to schedule a backup at this frequency. And I could say we'll keep a weekly for so many weeks, keep a monthly for so many months, keep a yearly for 10 years. So I can have very different retention goals out in the cloud.